Jamie, any thoughts on power accumulators? Uh, one word. Too technical for me. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to be talking about power accumulation. There's going to be four parts to the power accumulation. By the end of it, we're going to talk about how you can take parts of these out, so therefore we don't need to generate as much power, for example, with chipping, pitching, maybe even putting. Do we need power from my putt? Do we need to put in four power accumulators? I don't think so, we're not needing maximum strength. So the end of this video is going to highlight the fact that we do not need to use all our power sources for every golf shot. Power accumulation, so it's obviously all about accumulating power. Pretty clever, eh? Golfing Machine states there's four sources of power, or four ways of accumulating power in the golf swing. And they are, so there's four power accumulators. Power accumulator number one is the bending and straightening of the right arm. So if I'm going to force power, if I'm going to hit somebody in the face, I'm going to accumulate power by bending and straightening my right arm back and through in order to create that power. So power accumulator number one, the bending and straightening of the right arm, that's going to create power. Power accumulator number two is the cocking and uncocking of the left wrist. Power accumulator number three is the inline position between club shaft and left arm for the whole golf swing especially through impact but for the whole swing so if I take the club back we'll see I'll try and keep this in line so power accumulator number three that's in line it's in line still in line still in line still in line as the club comes back of course the, the power accumulator number two bending and cocking of the left wrist it's going to create power so it's going to bend but it's still in line 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 all this is still in line as it comes through as a computer hit golf ball still in line of course it impact in line and through that was pretty tricky to explain. So that's three power accumulators. One, bend and straighten of the right arm. Two, cocking, uncocking left wrist. Three, inline position between left arm and club shaft, which was tricky to explain. And number four is... Pivot. 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 The turning of the body, so pivot back, pivot through. That's a power accumulator. Now these power accumulators need to be released in a certain pattern to be efficient at impact. It's all very well having these accumulators and creating all this power for a full shot. But if you don't release them the right way, smash factors down, efficiency is poor. There's an order we have to go by. So the four power accumulators, we have to release them in power accumulator order of number four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. So I get to top of my swing. But to top of my swing, I have to, firstly, I have to release my pivot. So my body turns, then number one, my right arm starts to straighten, and then number two, my left wrist starts to uncock, and then number three, I'm in line through impact, this inline position, and continuing through. So four, one, two, three. Pivot back towards the golf ball, right arm starts to straighten, left wrist starts to uncock, power accumulator number three, inline position at impact, like the whole assembly release through impact. Game's a gift. Well, I had it very well today. Just done three lessons, my head's a little bit scrambled. Three very different lessons. That was better. Eureka. So four, three, four, one, two, three. That's the release pattern. Now I'm sure you've seen it being released in the wrong direction or the wrong order, wrong sequence. And it looks like this. Bet you've seen all your pals do this one. This is a classic. Wait for it. Power accumulator number four needs to be released first. What if we release power accumulator number three first? The bending and straightening of the right arm. So I get the top of my swing, up the top of my swing. And I release the right arm first, in fact we'll do it down the line. I get to the top of my swing here, and I release the right arm first. That motion, over the top. 
slice. Let me try one. So that's power accumulator number three being released before number four. So we yank it from the top. This motion. Aye, very good. Another one, what about number two being released first? I'm sure we've all seen that. So the cocking. Cocking and uncocking of the left wrist. That getting released first, so we get to the top and then we uncock. Casting, perhaps? This camera's moving because of the wind. I've got it resting on a tour bag. Hold on. This might work. So that's probably been moving for the whole video. So releasing power accumulator number two first. Looks like this, up to the top, and then that. Woo! Love that. That's a lot of people call that casting. Up there, and then this. What's... <laughs> so you get a lot of funky ones doing that, you'll get a lot of... You'll control the low points impossible with that. So we cast it this way. Club comes down, low points pre-impact, or we miss the ground, then we can't move back up thin. So low points are about four or five inches behind the golf ball, whereas it should be in front of the golf ball. If we get power accumulator number four releasing first, we're always going to be ahead of the golf ball. So we're going to hit it on the way down, especially with the irons. So we're there, releasing number four first, so the pivot, good. Right arm starts to straighten, left wrist uncocking, into end line position at impact. Very different. So that's your four power accumulators. I don't know if that's quite awkward or hard to understand. Quite hard to follow. I just think as I come back down, I just make sure my body turns out of the way first. I've done a lot of videos and everything going left and club head going to the right. As long as I get power accumulator number four released first, then everything else kind of falls into place. Or well, there's less chance of things going wrong, even if one, two, three are out of sync, if I get the body out of the way and I start to release this a little bit early before my right arm straightens. I've still got a chance, if number four is last, no chance. That was pure, shot in my back swing there. Less number four to release I guess. Yep, that's me ready for La Manga, off to La Manga next week or the week after. For a jolly, three days golf jolly. Might take the camera. Wasn't planning on it. Oh, I'm ready. So we all need a little bit more power in our game and that's a great way to think about it. If you can accumulate all this power and then release it in the right way, we're on. However, do we need all the power? Do we really need all this power in the game? Right, I've got, I've got a 40 yard shot here. I've got a 54. 54 degree wedge, quite a dirty 54 degree wedge, and I, so I've got 40 yards to go, I don't need all the power, so let's not use all power accumulators, let's not accumulate as much power, so for this shot, my right arm has to bend, my right arm has to bend, because that's part of the golf motion. I mean, I can't take the club back and keep the right arm straight out of there. So I need to accumulate the power from there. Fine. Do I need cocking and uncocking of the left wrist? Limited. Don't need it. I don't need to apply this power in here. So I can go back and I can turn back and try and keep the arms more, the wrists more passive. Because I don't need that power in there. I'm only going 40 yards. Jason Day's brilliant at that. Just dead arms at Steve Stricker. Stiff wrists, we would call it. Um, so a little bit of right arm flex, pivot through, always number three, power accumulator to make sure strike's good, pivot to make sure strike's good, but I'm going to take out power accumulator number two, this action is good, 40 yard shot, that's all I need. Great strike. So I've taken that power accumulator out. When you putt, when you putt, do you need power accumulator number one, number two, bending and cocking? Do you need that when you putt? 
No, because we don't need the power. So thinking about what power accumulators you're going to put in are relevant to the shot you're going to play. If we're playing a full shot, get all four in there. 50 yards. Okay, there may be a little bit of number two added in here. There was. That was good. There we go, so that's power accumulation. Four power accumulators. Thank <laughs> you.